Hello and welcome to this yarn I'll make along with Emma. This is the knit part of this year's Worldwide Creative Project. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make um, a knitted triangle to make a piece of knitted bunting. So why are we making bunting? Um, we've got bunting already. Yarndell quickly became um, famous for its bunting back in 2013. And we thought a really great way to celebrate yet another show. I mean, last year was our 10th, 10th show. This year is our 11th show is to actually add to our famous bunting, but do some bunting with a twist. So we're doing plain bunting this year, either knitted or crocheted. Um, we've got two patterns for you, which are on the website for you to download. Um, you can do your own pattern if you want to. Uh, basically, as long as your triangle is 20 centimetres on, on each side, that's what we're looking for. So if you've got a, tri a triangle pattern that you want to do, great. If you haven't and you're looking for some advice and some help, then hopefully this will get you on the way for making a knitted triangle. This year we're supporting Oxfam as our charity. Um, they support us every year by running our bag crash and yarn amnesty. And this project uses up bits of leftover stash and yarn that you don't want. And then we're hoping whatever you don't use for the project, you bring along to Yarndale and donate to Oxfam. It's quite, quite good because it makes way for new yarn and new projects. If you know you're not going to use it, then why not donate it to Oxfam and they put it to good use. So to do our knitted triangles, um, you need four millimetre needles and any, any DK yarn. If you haven't got any DK, if you've got some sock, you could do two together, two strands together would work just as well. I'm using Shapey Soft Fun, which is what we've got in our Learn to Knit and Learn to Crochet kits because I've got it to hand and we've got little bits left over. Um, the colours are lovely and they make really sort of eye-catching um, bunting. So your bunting can be plain, your triangles can be plain, or this is the twist this year. We're looking to add some words. Some words are Yarndale. So there's a list of words on the website along with a pattern for you to download um, that we're looking for. But if you think crochet, think knit, think spin, think Yarndale, um, think Skipton, think weave, knot, they're all there. That, but you're on the, on the right kind of lines and your your letters can be these have been put on with um, fabric so appliqued on with fabric we've got stitching we could have crocheted letters here we go there are lots of patterns on 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 the website on not on the website so there are lots of patterns on the internet um that you can use but use your imagination use your creativity we know that you're all very creative um and we'll have lots of ideas so looking forward to seeing what you come up with so let's get started with our knit pattern. So I'm going to use this red, I think I quite like the look of that. Right, we'll just move these letters out of the way. Um, I'll show you this one. That's a knitted triangle. Okay, with a K on it for knit. Okay, so we start, th this pattern starts um, at the point and it's an increase pattern, okay? You may have preferred to decrease, in which case you might have a pattern that starts with the longer edge. The edges need to be 20 centimetres. That's what we're looking for. Okay, let's pop that to one side. So to start with, the pattern that we've got says to cast on two stitches. So it's quite a simple, simple pattern really to start. I prefer to increase and watch it grow. Okay, so we're just casting on two. So I'm going to do a long tail cast on. It does, really doesn't matter because look, there, done. We've got two stitches. Okay, so to start with, the first two rows, we're just going to, just going to knit let's get that out of the way. Okay, so, and this pattern is a really, it's just, it, it, it is just a knit pattern with some increases. So it's a simple, simple garter stitch. So that's one row. So if you knitted, if you learnt to knit with us and did dishcloths, this is sort of next step in a way because you're doing a triangle with learning how to do some increases. So I've done my two knit rows, okay, and my next row now is an increase row. So I'm going to knit one and then it says to make one. Okay, and to make one, there are two ways that I'm going to show you how, how you can make one. 
we're going to lift the bar in between the stitches to make our extra stitch. OK, we can do a make one right or a make one left. I'll show you the make one right first. So to make one right, you lift the stitch with your left hand needle on the back. I'll show you that again. So you lift from behind. So lift that bar from behind. OK, and then you're going to knit into the front of this new stitch. OK, which means your right hand needle has to tuck in and it's quite tight to start with. Has to tuck into the front of the stitch like that and then you knit. So you've created an extra stitch and then knit one. So now I've got three stitches because I've made a stitch so I did make one right. Okay the pattern then says knit two rows so we'll turn the work and we're going to knit. Just knitting away. Once you get into the rhythm of this pattern it's really quite nice. I'm not a speedy knitter. My sock knitting has definitely got speedier and very addictive. But plain knitting not so fast right so I've done my two two knit rows so then it's uh, an increase row and this time we're going to knit one same as we did before and then make one we'll make one right again to show you so if you remember we we lift this bar in between lift it from the back so lift it from behind I'm going to just tuck it on there like that that needle that's an easy way to do it Okay, and then we're going to knit into this from front to back. Okay, so then we knit one, the pattern then says knit one, and then it says make another stitch. Okay, so let's lift the bar in between. Okay, into the left needle like that. And we're going to knit from front to back okay and then knit the last stitch so it says in brackets in the pattern you've got five stitches let's just check yes you've got five stitches because we've just made two stitches one on either side to make our triangle so then we knit two rows knit two rows one There's our five stitches. Turn, knit my next row. Get it in the right place. Okay, so that's my second knit row. Okay, then we're on to an increase row again. On the increase rows you knit the first stitch and then increase and then you knit all the way along until one stitch before the end do your increase and knit the last stitch. It's the same on each row so let's knit the first stitch. Remember we're doing make one right so we're lifting from back to front that's onto the left hand needle and then knit it from front to back. Oh, I think I just split my wool there. Right, that's okay. Let's pull that back out and just try again. It's easily done. Right there, that's better. Important to keep your eye on it when you're increasing. Okay, there we go. That's our increase. So then we knit across until we get to one before the end. So we're actually knitting three stitches in the middle. Got one stitch left on my left 
and needle. So we're going to lift between the stitches here onto the left hand needle. The needle goes from front to back, from back, from back to front, sorry, and then we're going to knit from front to back this new stitch and then knit the last stitch. We should have seven stitches now. Let's have a look. Two, four, six, seven. So then the pattern says to knit two more rows. And you carry on knitting your triangle like this. So you knit two rows, then do an increase row. So every third row, which is quite good because it's a triangle, every, every third row, um, you increase another two stitches. And you carry on until you've got 37 stitches on your needles. And when you've got 37 stitches on your needles, knit, so don't do any more increasing, don't increase beyond your 37, knit five rows. So just, just plain knitting, so no increasing. Stick at your 37 stitches, knit your five rows, and then cast off. And then you've got your triangle, you've got your piece of bunting, which you can either leave plain, you can put a border on it if you want to. Um, you can put a border on it or you can um, put a letter on it. Have a look at the words on the website. I'm wondering which ones are going to be the most favourite. We're going to have lots of knit triangles. We're going to have lots of crochet. Um, so you can make as many pieces of bunting as you like. And do as many different words as you like from the list that we've got on the website. And looking forward to seeing just how creative and the ideas that you come up with. Always amazed when um, the parcels start to come in from all over the world for the Worldwide Creative Project. See what everybody's made because you're so creative, and so clever and it's just absolutely fabulous. Right. Let's do one more increase. This time I'm going to show you how to do a make one left. Um, so if you, to make one left, we knit the first stitch. And instead of going from back to front with this left hand needle, you go from front to back. So it sort of it twists, the, it twists the stitch really. And then you knit into the back. So there are different ways of, of doing increased stitches. Everyone has their favourite or their least favourite, shall we say. <laughs> this is my least favourite, it's make one left. You can see why I, I did a, a make one right for the first two, two rows to show you. Okay, there, I've increased my stitch. I just find it a bit fiddly going into the back. And I think it's because the yarn is, is twisted. I'll go all the way along and I'll show you. I'll show you again. So it goes from front to back. So from front to back, like that. And then you knit into the back of the stitch. There. Okay. And now we should have nine stitches. Two. Brilliant. And you can see it's starting to make a triangle. OK, I'm wondering what word this is going to be. I've done knit. What shall I make with this one? Might do knot, actually. Knit knot. OK, right. Knot with a K, that is. OK, because you need a slip knot to start, don't you? If you're doing, if you're doing any crochet or lots of knitting, it starts with a slip knot as well to start off with your casting on. OK. Good luck with your knitting, your knitted triangles, and um, looking forward to seeing your parcels. The, the pattern and all the information on where to send your um, triangles to is all on the website. Happy knitting!